Hey, I'm John Storms, and today I'm talking about getting rid of all my uh, Lightorama CTB16 boxes. Um, hang on, why isn't this switching? There, okay. So the goal is to get rid of the remaining Lightorama boxes, and Lightorama is, is great, all right? And I got a bunch of these CTB16 PCAC controllers, which are just these, you know, uh, they control up, they have 16 channels, you control 16 different strings of lights independently, and you can do some really good things with them, some really cool displays. And at the high watermark of my display, <clears throat> I had 15 Lightorama controllers total, two of which were the... Um, cmb 24s for controlling floods and then i had one for controlling the cosmic color bulbs and then the rest were the the typical ctb 16 uh, pc um and i want to switch these over to pixel to thing controllers pixel to thing controllers the ones i have that i bought a couple years ago <clears throat> that i just haven't gotten around to using setting up before now uh will control up to nine channels now people say why bother you know, what do I get out of it? <clears throat> so right now I have my, I have left in my show three Lightorama controllers. And I'm using the Falcon F16 Pixel controllers, controllers as a bridge. So what that means is I go from my computer, which is uh, an FPP, to my Falcon controller on using E131. Then the Falcon controller converts the uh, the stuff of the light of Rama over to DMX, sends it across the uh, serial port, and then connects down that chain with RS-485, right? Communicating using DMX. And while that's all great and that works fine, I have x lights doing all of the numbering. And it automatically numbers everything, and that's great. But it struggles a little bit with the light of Rama stuff. I mean, ideally, it would just allocate 16 channels, and that would be it. Um, but it doesn't, it just allocates the number of channels of ports that you're actually, you know, where you actually have them defined. If you skip ports, then you have to basically create dummy props to eat up those, uh, those channels. And I have, you know, some cases where I have multiple light of Ramas hanging off one serial port. And this year I had to change the numbering on something and it just threw everything out of whack because what I had to do is I had to go into next lights and I had to, you know, get them all chained together and then individualize or renumber them so that they were in a chain. And it was just a pain. And, and x lights just struggles with it a little bit. Whereas Pixel to Things boards, what they do is they actually sit off of the same ports as the Pixel strings, right? So it has nine AC uh, channels that it controls and each one acts like one single channel so a pixel would be three channels so an ac controller controlling nine would eat up the same number of ports as three pixels right so each one of those uh channels is controlled individually so i can set up a prop with a single channel and then i can have um you know put that on the pixel to things and i can put pixels before it i can put pixels after it, and it's all in line and the numbering is a lot easier to manage you don't screw up so yeah this year i had a case where i had to renumber and i got really frustrated almost crying in the garage it's just pathetic so it's like you know i got these boards laying around i'm gonna go ahead and uh, and use them uh, so this is my 2021 setup and you can see here i got the falcon pie uh running fpp or i got the raspberry pi running fpp and then i have everything connected on a on a ethernet talking e131 and you can see where i have the three light rama boxes hanging off at the serial ports of the falcon controllers right and then what's going to change is i'm going to swap out um first of all a lot of the ac channels are going away because uh, all of my bushes that i have on ac channels this year I'm switching those over to pixels. So it's going to be a lot less AC channels. So I need a couple in the front yard and I need a couple in the side yard. I'm not even going to use all nine. Side yard, I might use four. And the other, uh, the front yard, I might use two, right? So instead, I'm going to hook these up and these sit right in line with the pixels. And, you know, it'll be easier for me to manage. Plus, I get to try something new. And playing with something new is always fun. 
Uh, bad news is I'm using the Pixel to AC9 board, and this board has been discontinued. Um, not sure why. It's a great board. Uh, it does not come with uh, heat sinks or fans, so you have to make sure you're not loading it up too hard. Um, I'm running some, LED, you know, some LEDs, and really only a couple of LEDs off of each one of the ports, so I'm not going to be taxing this at all. Um, and I only have one incandescent light. I have a single C9 in the whole display, uh, but that's the only thing that's going to be sitting on is a, on one of the ports. So, um, so what I was going to do is I'm going to set this up to, to run a test. Now this board is, is pretty straightforward. Um, over here on the left side, on the bottom left, you have your AC in, right? So you have neutral and hot coming in. And then over here you have AC out, right? Neutral and hot going out. Um, you got a fuse and then up here you have your WS2811, right? So this is basically how it sits in line with your pixels, right? So it gets in on the top pin, it's V plus at the bottom, it's V minus. That's your positive and negative for your DC. And this is where the board actually draws its power from. Okay. And then you have data in and then you have data out. So I have two um, um, X-Connect connectors um, wired into this thing. And that's it. Very, very simple setup. And what happens is it just eats nine channels of data and then passes the rest along. So it's, uh, it's super nice that way. Okay. Now that's discontinued. Now what uh, David Peace is selling on his site right now is you can get a three channel version of this and a nice little form factor box. And actually I probably would have got this if it was available at the time, but you know, use what you have, right? Uh, but the setup is the same. So I'm going to do a little test. So in my test, I got a PC running X lights and then I have a um, ethernet that's going to be talking to the Falcon F16 V4 uh, with E131. And then hanging off of port six, I have uh, X connect cable running to a 36 pixel snowflake. Um, then I have some power injection because I don't run power through my F16 board. So I get, I inject power here and this powers everything, the pixels, the snowflakes and the pixel, the things board. So then it goes to the pixel, the thing board with it's, uh, this pixel to AC nine. And I have nine AC lights hanging off of that board. Then it chains over to a second pixel to things board because I'm going to be using two. I want to test both the boards. And it also has nine AC lights. And then uh, coming off of this pixel to things board, I got a you know an X connect cable coming out, and then I have 50 more lights. So I'm showing that I can do pixels before and after, and I'm showing that I uh, that all the the boards run correctly, right? So in X lights, the layout looks like this. This is the small snowflake. I have nine AC channels, and then I have the second nine AC channels, and then I have the 50 pixel snowflake. So I put this all on port six, right? So it starts with the 36 uh, snowflake. I represented the nine AC channels just as a string of lights with nine pixels um, as, a, as a single string. And then of course at the end, I have the, the 50 pixel snowflake. So actually set up on the, the bench here, this is how it looks. I got my Falcon F16 V4. I have my connection to the 36 pixel snowflake. Then I have my injection T, which is pulling from a power supply up here. And then from here, I run to my first pixel to things board, which daisy chains over to the next pixel to things board. It's like these are all in line. And then that goes to the 50 pixel snowflake. And then I have a whole, uh, 16 AC lights. I, this is my old um, Testorama you know, device. It's just a piece of wood with you know 16 individually controlled lights on it. And of course, since these control nine each, I needed two more. So I found my leg lamp and I also have this, um, just a, a canned light. Okay. And that's my physical layout. And then I got some links for reference. Okay. So now let's go over and try it out on X lights. Okay. So now I have X lights running. And what I've done is I've set up a little uh, test directory. So I have a directory where I have projects and I do pixel to things. And this is a temporary directory. So I can just go in and play with some things. And what I've done here is I've set up a uh, F16 
uh, V4 controller so that I can uh, go, you know, use this for, uh, for my test. So here I have my layout. And so the first thing I have is this, you know, little 16 inch Boss Koya Snowflakes with 36 pixels. And then I have, after that, I have nine channels representing my AC, um, my little AC, uh, my AC lights. And each of these is designed to be individually controlled by the pixel to things. So what I did here is I just went and set up um, I set up a, just a just a single string, okay, nothing fancy at all, and I gave it nine nodes, and I made the pixel style smooth so they're easy to see versus this one I made square, and the type of lights is important. I did node single color, right? So that means that these are just regular lights. They are individual nodes, but a single color. So I'm saying each one is individually controlled. And the idea is, is that this uses up nine, uh, nine ports. So on my pixel to things, I could have one as Santa Claus, which is another AC prop I have, or some AC strobe lights as another channel. But the point is each one of these circles is its own single channel. Okay. Then here next to it, I have another one. Right, so this represents one pixel to thing board. The other one represents the other pixel to thing board. And of course, I have the um, 24 inch 50 pixel snowflake on the end. And that's just to show that, you know, I can put these in line and they work. Okay, so I have that set up. And then what I do is I go to the controller and the visualize tab. Okay, pull this down so you can see it. What I did is I drug over the uh, the props in the order that I have them hooked up. So I have the 36 pixel snowflake. I have the first pixel to things board, which uses nine ports. And then the next pixel to things, which uses nine ports. Okay. And you can see like this one starts at 118 and it ends at 106. And then the last one is a 50 pixel snowflake. Okay. And that's the whole configuration for that. So let me get out of here. Clicking this button. Okay. And then all I have to do is I hit upload output and it configures port six on my controller to do exactly that, which I've already done. So now I want to do a test. Okay. So I come over to sequencer and here I've created a little test. So obviously I just have a couple of things. So I put spinners on the snowflakes, right? Just told it to put pinwheels there so they'll spin. And then I put bars on the pixel to things because I figured that would be easiest to see. So one I do uh, right to left, the other one I do left to right. And that's it. So I go up here, say output the lights and push play whoops actually i don't even need to push play i just need to click over here and it will cycle through it all right so this is my test setup so actually the bulb in my uh, leg lamp is busted on top so i just have the one inside the leg um so here is the 36 channel snowflake coming off the falcon and then right in between there is where i got the power jacks i got power supply in the box underneath the leg lamp and then it goes to the two pixel the thing boxes so i have this x connect cable go inside and then there's that one port where i have two cables connected right so i double up the uh the v plus and the ground and then the data in, the data out, each have their own cable. And the data in is coming in from the snowflake. The data out is going to this other pixel to things. And then its data out is going to this snowflake. So those pixel to things are part of the inline chain, just like all the other pixels. And then hanging off their AC ports, I got my old Testorama. And you can see the bar effect is 
going to the inside. Now the bar effect technically is, you know, working off of these two guys too. I just didn't have 18 lights. See? So it works just fine. So I'm gonna, and the thing is here you can see that I used, I even used the old Lightarama boxes and the pigtails that came with them, right, for the uh, for the pixel to things and it worked really, really well. And then, uh, you know, I just repurposed. So, very nice test. So, uh, obviously when I, whoops, the, my garbage bin. So, uh, obviously when I get closer to the show, uh, when I actually go to sit down and stage each port, I'll have the pixel the things set up off the port of the Falcon. I'm actually going to use them on with the actual lights I'm going to use them with to make sure everything works. Because one thing you have to be careful with these boards is heat, right? Because uh, they will heat up. Uh, you got AC power going through it. And, uh, you know, so we just have to be careful. I might have to put some heat sinks if they get too warm. But honestly, uh, I'm running, you know, AC lights. Um, well, uh, just some uh, some LED lights and not huge strings of LED lights. So the draw should be minimal. We'll have to see. I might try out one of the um, AC to or pixels to AC3 boards too. That Those look pretty fun. And then David also has a nice input board that I want to play with too. We might play with that to, to set up a go button. So anyway, this is the test setup. Very happy. I think it's a passing test. So I think uh, feasible to say that we're not going to have to use or rely on any uh, Lightarama boxes for next year. Which, honestly, the only reason for doing that is just because, one, mostly, I just want to play with a board. And the other reason is, is the numbering is a little cumbersome coming from X-Lights with the bridging off the uh, Falcon F-16s. But aside from that, they work, they work perfectly great. And I got, like, there's a, one there, and then there's a whole pile of them over here. So... But don't, don't call and ask that to have them because I'm not planning on getting rid of them. So they're still very handy. I'm just going to use them for other things like maybe indoor Christmas town and for the backyard decorations and yada yada.